one of the hottest tickets of the whole weekend it always is uh the, the raw after wrestlemania um you know every, it's the show that everybody wants to go to and then once you get there it's sort of like you're sad because you don't want to be there anymore because it's the last wrestling event uh if you're like uh ravi you're going to be basically staying up mostly all of the night uh, to get to the airport to fly out first thing in the morning to head back home um you're going to try and, and make sure you get the most out of it. You know, when I think about my group of friends, I'm sure there's a lot of friends uh, that, that are uh, they're going to the trip just like we are. I live in Northern California. Uh, Miguel lives in Southern California. Ravi lives in Toronto, Canada. Um, I get to see Ravi on average about once a year. I get to see Miguel on average twice a year, even though we're really great friends. I mean, if, if it's not for SummerSlam and it's not for WrestleMania, um, we don't get to see each other. With uh, no um, uh, SummerSlam in Los Angeles this year, I'm more than likely not going to see uh, Miguel this summer unless we're able to put together some sort of a, a PWG trip, uh, which I've been dying to do, honestly, uh, for a long time. Uh, maybe I'll be able to talk him into going to uh, WWE's Hell in a Cell in October. Um, maybe something like that, but that, that that's, you know, uh, something that's going to be on my mind uh, when I'm going to these shows is uh, when is the next time I'm going to see these guys? I know we have plans uh, for, for WrestleMania 32, um, but, uh, you know, what if what if something comes up? I mean, what if uh, what if these guys get married? Uh, what if they, uh, uh, you know, buy a house? What if, what if anything happens and next year, you know, there's no uh, money on the table uh, to go? So, I mean, like uh, these trips have been fun. Uh, you know, someday they're going to end, uh, but I uh, hope uh, they aren't anytime soon. Uh, but that's sort of me letting my feelings out about the whole things. Um, like, geez, I feel like a girl right now. But <laughs> but these guys have, have been through the thick and thin with me. Uh, they're they're two of my best friends in the entire world. I'm glad to have them. I got a lot more guys that are on this trip that um, I'll be glad to see as well. Um, but but these are the guys that I've roomed with every year. And uh, without them, there is no me. I, I wouldn't be able to go on these trips alone. So I, I, I tip my hat to them and I say thank you big time. Uh, the Raw after WrestleMania is going to have a lot of uh, uh, big surprises to it. More than likely, we're going to see the crowning of a new champion at the end of WrestleMania 31. Uh, so Roman Reigns showing up and uh, sort of being christened uh, the uh, the champion. There's so many times as a fan when I was growing up, you you make sure that you watch the Raw after WrestleMania. It's so important uh, to check out that first segment because maybe you didn't have the money to buy the pay-per-view. And um, of course, this was in the days before there was uh, online. There was no, you know, uh, no DQ. There was no wrestling headlines. There was no, um, well, there was a wrestling observer, but uh, I didn't have it, so I didn't know about it. But <laughs> there was no way to, to know who the champion was unless you watched Raw and most of the time, either the, the guy who lost the belt would come out during the first segment and challenge the guy to a rematch, or they would have the new champion like John Cena come running down to the ring and was so eager to show off his new belt and tell everybody that he's the champ, that the champ is here, and uh, what we're going to see. But, you know, Roman Reigns coming out there. So many people were so outspoken about Roman winning the Royal Rumble and headlining WrestleMania this year. Um, the past, you know, two years, he's been in six-man tags. And even though, you know, the Shield was a big deal, that would be the past two years they were six-man tags <laughs> they, they really weren't a big part of the show they you know wrestlemania 30 uh roman and the shield they wrestled in a match that honestly lasted about 90 seconds uh the the one at wrestlemania 29 had a little bit more importance to it but most people will remember that it was one of the matches that big show turned heel in after he promised his team that he wouldn't turn on him to accept him because he wanted to beat up the Shield as much as everybody else did. Even though Sheamus and Orton were good guys, um, you know, Big Show was a bad guy. They needed a guy, and he was about the only guy that wanted to team with them at, <laughs> at the show. But um, Roman showing up is probably going to have a whole lot of bad feelings. A lot of people counts it out on going to WrestleMania 31 because of Roman Reigns and the people that are, are still coming. Um, either already had their money on the table because they bought a WrestleMania package or they just they come to WrestleMania every year They're gonna be outspoken and they're gonna let people know that they were unhappy I don't know how you could go to WrestleMania weekend and, and be unhappy, but uh, they're, they're gonna try and let people know that you know, Roman isn't the guy to, to build around um, Maybe a lot of people will be hoping for a Seth Rollins cash in that night I know that there's a rumored uh, Brock Lesnar appearance on the books that he's supposed to be there But with him losing the championship and not being under contract anymore I don't know what you do unless it's just uh, 
to try and have him put over Seth Rollins? And is Brock going to want to put somebody over on his last night in the company when he's not coming back? Does he care that much about his image? Or is he just going to want to get that payday for that last day? But when it comes down to it, honestly, in my mind, look out for a story on Brock Lesnar not being at Monday Night Raw. That's that's my guess. Brock no shows Raw. He'll do the job at WrestleMania uh, 31. But, uh, you know, maybe he'll just walk out and tell Vince um, he'll see him next time. And I don't think Vince will sue him over one day because when it comes down to it, what's that last appearance going to be? Vince can just save some money. Brock can fly home early. And uh, more than likely, Roman's already going to be put over. So well, what's going to happen at the end of the day? But anything can happen. Lots of rumors about Brock Lesnar re-signing. Uh, when you think about these uh, WrestleMania Monday Night Raws, you always think of debuts. Of course, Brock Lesnar debuted on a Raw after WrestleMania. After WrestleMania 18, which set him up to re headline WrestleMania 19 to a lot of people's surprise. But I think a lot of people knew when they saw Brock Lesnar right off the bat, even though he came in uh, beating up guys like the Hardys, that uh, he was something special. He was twice as big and twice as wide as about anybody he got into the ring with. Um, so, you know, maybe one of these NXT guys will be uh, getting up in there. Lots of people looking for Sami Zayn uh, to debut on the WWE roster for the last two years two years. Uh, I think, uh, you know, Finn Balor is the guy that's ready to go right now. Um, and there's a lot of other guys down there in NXT uh, that are ready to go. Just it's a matter of Vince McMahon knowing uh, that these guys are good and getting them on the main roster and knowing that there's a spot for them in the long run. Uh, there's always talks of returns. Uh, last year we saw Rob Van Dam make his return. I think uh, Bad, News, uh, Bad News Barrett uh, made his return from injury on that show, wrestling against Rey Mysterio, which ended up being his last match in WWE. Um, so you got to be looking at his NXT. There's so many girls down there, Charlotte, uh, Sasha Banks, or any of these girls going to be making their debut, coming up and helping out the Divas division, which has a lot of girls in it, but none of them can really wrestle <laughs> all that well, even though they just gave the Divas a chance. Um, they, they, they got a large roster. They've got so many girls down there in NXT that can work well. Um, do they want to leave him down there and sort of build up that NXT brand as, as being better than Raw? I think that's going to be a little bit embarrassing for WWE. Um, like when the Paul Heyman documentary, when they were talking about SmackDown beating Raw in the ratings, and uh, Heyman was sort of uh, sort of being um, looked at badly <laughs> because his brand was winning. Uh, it doesn't really make sense in the long run, but uh, Raw is definitely going to be a great experience. I'm glad that I'm going. I'm um, not really sure. There haven't been really any big rumors about the show or not, but one thing I know is it's going to be fun. You never go wrong with that Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania.